So deliberative by itself, really the definition is about taking great care in the decisions that you make. It's an executing theme. So it is about moving things forward, but moving them forward in the best way possible in a way that reduces risk or sort of avoids potholes. Sometimes when I'm thinking about deliberative, I think about if you, uh, if you have a favorite uh, mapping software. So if you go to Google Maps, for example, or, or maybe you use TomTom and you go through and, and you'd say, okay, well, here's where I want to get going and here's where I'm starting from. Somebody with deliberative deliberative isn't only going to look at the entire picture, but they might want to instead look step by step. And as they're going through step by step before they take that first step, they're looking for potential pitfalls. They're looking for how do we make sure that we are confident once we start moving that it's going to be the absolute best way forward. So when you think about deliberative, if you look at the top of that companion guide, you read a little bit of that expanded definition. You see words like careful, vigilant, private even. Uh, you know the world is an unpredictable place. And I think we also talk in this definition about having that whisper of risk and that whisper of risk assessment rather than uh, living in a place where you just calm those risks. Somebody with high deliberative has the courage to let those risks be talked about, to process that risk and think about how do we incorporate the whole picture, not just the possibility of everything that can go right, but alongside that possibility of, you know, how could we trip and bring it together in a way to communicate the compassion, the care, the, I think, the trustworthiness of making a good decision. It is. Um, it falls into that executing domain, which I think is really important for us to understand. Very often, I will describe it, and it, the words that I use sound a lot like a strategic thinking theme. Um, and I do think that it definitely could jump into that domain pretty easily. But at the end of the day, deliberative wants to get things done. And so I think, what does deliberative look like in a leader? Well, it might sound like this. It might sound like I raise the standard of quality in my organization by ensuring our actions are vetted and thoughtful, or it might sound like I increase productivity by limiting wasteful action. I think it looks like streamlining, like processing. Uh, it's cautious and full of care. I typed the word careful, and that wasn't quite what I wanted, so I, I deleted it, and I instead wrote the word care hyphen full, F-U-L-L, -L, because it is just brimming with, I think, um, desire to execute something of high quality and something of low risk. Um, as an individual, deliberative might mean that you are assessing your next move cautiously and with certainty. As a leader, I think it's about creating, supporting, and maintaining systems that will do that for you. So uh, systems that limit haste, systems that limit mistakes. Those might be actual systems. They also might just be the practice or the habit of asking great questions or of giving new processes or new ideas the due diligence that, that, they, des that they deserve. I think that deliberative takes a lot of courage. Um, that, that when you allow that deliberative to play and to really light your work on fire, that sometimes it takes courage to be the person who raises your hand and says, wait a minute, guys, we need to think about this. It might not be, be always the most popular thing to do. And leaders with great deliberative, I think, aren't worried about that. Or at least they, they maintain that worry with an air of certainty. So being able to say, doing something right and doing it well and doing it with limited risk is better than just jumping in and, and diving toward uh, having to do things five or six times. Uh, I think, I love the, the theme, uh, in the theme definition, we actually use the word outstanding decision maker. I think that's a, a why wouldn't, who wouldn't want to be known as being an outstanding decision maker? So ways that you can think about expanding the reach of your deliberative, if you're, if you're a leader, I think about how do you, how do you hone that? How do you polish that natural talent and really uh, allow that talent to live out as a strength? One way might be to find your best system and then to trust that system. I caution myself from saying trust your gut to anybody with deliberative because what probably is speaks to them more is trust the judgment that your gut has told your brain to have. 
It's it's not jumping from a place of, of empathy. It's not a place of command. It really is trust your system. So if your system needs to be speaking with uh, subject matter experts, then do that every time and maybe think about honing the way to have those subject matter experts at your at your beck and call. Maybe your system is more about looking up data or comparing to your competitors or or benchmarking some scores or even you know beta testing a new idea. Um, then then create that system and and do it in a way that I think you can fine tune it so that it can be so the system itself can be something predictable and something that you go back to, and then allow yourself to trust that even if you find that it's going to be an unpopular decision to slow things down. Um, the, the truth of it is there's, there's a lot more achievers in the world than there are folks with deliberative. And so sometimes that need to complete things can uh, be a louder need than the need to slow down and do things uh, in a way that mitigates risk. So allow yourself to realize that there's power in the fact that deliberative is not super common and know that we need that voice. If you've got that whisper of hesitance and it's coming from a place of, of certainty and caution versus just a place of fear, then find the best ways to communicate that. You might do that by really getting excellent at asking great questions. So you're not going to teach your followers to also have deliberative. It's not something you can inject in people. But I think you can bring that deliberative outward through great questions. Questions like, um, what are the risks that we've already thought about? Or have we considered this? And you might find that you need to introduce those questions before you say it. Um, we don't want it to come across as pessimism, but it is a, a real, I think, practical relationship with, um, with the things that could go wrong, as well as the things that can go right. So find a way to introduce a line of, of almost coaching and, and mentorship or a line of questioning that helps build your brand as somebody who's an excellent decision maker Maker and also helps influence other people to think about taking a little bit more care in their decisions. I also coach folks with, with high deliberative to focus on when are you feeling the most confident in your judgment? Maybe it's with think time. Maybe it's with quiet time. Maybe it's with experience. I think it's really important to perhaps even look to your other themes and personalize that awareness of when you feel the best confidence within your own judgment. When do you feel like you're ready to stand on what you're about to, to, to execute upon and then figure out ways that you can go there more often. Um, we also take a look at how can deliberative uh, along with the rest of these themes provide the, uh, the needs that followers have. So in a leader, followers need trust, they need stability, they need compassion, and they need hope. And I'm going to ask Aaron for, for how he does this in a moment, but first to just isolate deliberative. Uh, deliberative by itself can create trust by understanding sensitivity. I have yet to meet someone with deliberative who's, uh, I think, super open at the drop of a hat. Um, it takes a little bit of, a, of, I think, creating trust with somebody with high deliberative. So don't be turned off by that. It is because I think there's a great care for sincerity. Uh, that's almost the relationship aspect sometimes of deliberative. So you probably handle sensitive issues pretty well because you don't just jump into them. Um, and I think uh, polishing or improving the way that you can even handle delicate situations is certainly a way that you can build your trust so that people know that you're a leader who doesn't just take things lightly, but who you know can can properly give uh, delicate situations the thought that they need. A leader with deliberative can provide stability by creating predictable systems to mitigate risk or, or to assess risk. Think about walking in and having a great idea for your leader and already knowing that you're going to have to present maybe some backup data or that you're going to have to, to give them a, a certain window of time to really consider it. Or that if you're on a team with somebody with deliberative, you understand that they are going to give you something better to jump into if you, if you focus on that system first. A leader with uh, deliberative may show compassion um, in the way that they share praise. Typically, folks with high deliberative are um, not quite as effusive with praise as maybe somebody with high positivity, high activator, high communication. And so understand if you've got great deliberative that when you do share praise, people are going to be hanging on your every word and maybe make a big deal of it. Allow, um, a, don't, don't force yourself to be um, sort of rampant with praise or, or to be, uh, 
um, a little bit more too giving. It's not the, the point here, but the point is when you do give praise, understand that it is a rare and precious gift treated as such and and know that people are, are clamoring for what you um, what you put your stamp of approval on because you are such an excellent decision maker. Uh, and finally, I think leaders with deliberative can inspire hope by being a little bit proactive. Allow us to have a peek into uh, the mind of what you've already processed and what you know is coming. Because it's an executing theme, chances are your deliberative is always doing something. You're always deliberating. You probably have something that you're working through right now. So think about how can you talk about what you've already worked through but maybe haven't yet come to fruition or what you've already decided to take action on but haven't even yet started. And allow yourself the stability to talk about those things you've already vetted so that you can paint a picture for your followers of where you're going and they know with certainty that it's a place that you're excited and confident in going.